All right, welcome back again to another video, another video tutorial from Resolution Design. Hello, my name is Edwin Anthony. I am the owner and founder of Resolution Design, one of the top Shopify agencies out here in the USA. All right, so in this video, oh wait, before I do that, before that, gotta, gotta, gotta shout out some people. There are some people subscribed here that are just absolutely amazing. You guys in the comments, I am responding to all of you guys. <laughs> like I'm trying my best to respond to all of you because you guys are just absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for smashing the like button, for subscribing, turning on that bell because I'm seeing you, right? And also just commenting because you guys are just kind of like keeping me active. So I want to say shout out to all of you guys. Thank you so much. And for all of you that are new, welcome to my channel. If you do as such, then I will also hit you back up. Okay. Okay. So the purpose of this video, purpose of this video is to teach you something that one of my uh, subscribers or people here at YouTubers, they, uh, they brought out to my attention and I'm like, oh wow, I never created that video, which is how to set up, how to first obtain and set up a domain in Shopify. Okay. I know it sounds pretty simple, but there are some people that have a hard time trying to put this together. So let's do this video. Okay. First and foremost, what I'm going to say is if you're going to purchase your domain uh, for the first time, okay, I personally don't advise you to do it through Shopify personally. Like I don't advise you to go to the back end and go to where it says domains and then try to kind of like do it yourself. I, I don't, I don't, you know, buy a new domain. I don't, tr I don't like this button. The reason for that is because Shopify in reality, they use a third party supplier for the domains, which um, they don't give you really too much control and their system is not so flexible, if that makes any sense, right? Um, and also, it's one of those things that I don't want to have tied up into Shopify. For whatever reason, if you decide to not do Shopify anymore, you, you have that domain name that's not kept under hostage. You know who does a bad job at this, by the way? Wix. Oh, man, those guys, whoa. I don't know. I mean, there's great people that have great websites at Wix, right? You know, not, not bashing them. They're a good company. Um, but it's just that I feel that they need to improve on some things uh, when it comes to like what they hold and stuff like that. So this is a primary example as to why we should use an external source to get your domain. OK, there's tons of them out there. But the one that I'm going to be using today is GoDaddy. Yes, I know there's Namecheap.com. There's, you know, all those other ones. I've tried them and they probably cost less than GoDaddy. OK, let me know down in the comments. Which one do you prefer? Which uh, domain hosting provider do you prefer for your domains? OK, and let me know down in the comments. I like GoDaddy because it's a love and hate relationship, really. But let's just get to it. Let's just let's just get right to it. All right. So, OK, first thing that you do is if you don't have a GoDaddy account, go get one, right? If you're doing this for the first time, if you already have a domain name and you're like, oh, but I like this. How do I push this over to GoDaddy? That's another topic. We could talk about that later. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about that. But over here, let's go ahead and sign in. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my account. And once you sign in with your account, by the way, make sure that if you do have an account, you put like that double layer security. That's that's always important too. Uh, once you enter into account, I guess you could go back into the regular GoDaddy, right? GoDaddy.com. And we're going to go ahead and search for a domain because as you can see, I'm already signed in here. So let's see if this domain is available. Another store.com. This might not be available. Ah, oh, it's taken. Oh, no. So I made a video about this. Uh, I'll put this in the either in the comments or up in the little card thing as to the best way for you to get, you know, uh, a domain, right? Because in this video, we're just talking about how to connect it, okay? So let me just fast forward and find a domain so I could show you how to buy one and then connect it. Okay, and so I just decided to say, you know, since I'm resolution design, let me just get resolution store. Resolution store is telling me that it's $1 a month. 
If it's higher than that, I guess it's cool. The most that you could probably do it is somewhere around, I want to say, $11 or $14 a month, somewhere along those lines. So that's when it's actually healthy. But if it starts to be like $1,000 or $500, I wouldn't recommend you do that, okay? So let's go ahead and proceed. Okay, so on this screen right here, we're going to talk about, you know, as far as you purchasing a domain and privacy. This was another question from another one of my YouTubers that they asked something about, you know, I wouldn't want to purchase a domain and then all of a sudden, um, you know, people find out who it is because, you know, that there are people who know tricks as to how to grab your domain and how to find you to see who owns that domain and then your name will show up that you purchased it. And that's why the privacy is very important, right? Uh, not just privacy, but also, you know, any malicious malware that's done to the domain itself or to give it to like some type of bad reputation along the line. So because of that, I'm going to go ahead and choose the ultimate domain. It's totally up to you. You don't need to. But I'm going to choose that because, as you can see right here, what it does is that it provides full domain privacy and protection. It protects your domain with automatic malware scans, so on and so forth, and it monitors search engine blacklists to ensure that your domain reputation is protected. Um, so I choose this because it's an extensive service from GoDaddy, and it'll pay based on the year. I, by default, you'll notice that start your website for free is checked. You want to not check this out. And this is one of the things, honestly, that I dislike about GoDaddy is that they just love to upsell you like crazy, like crazy. No, you don't need an email. None of that. No, you don't need a business premium. No, thanks. You don't need any of that. So let's go ahead to the cart. All right, and we have something like this. Okay, so don't get scared out of the, the, the checkbox. Don't be impulsive is what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, what you want to do is set the five years up to one year. Set it up to one year so that it auto renews every year. Just make sure that your website has, um, your payment has enough funds. That's what's important, okay? Um, and make sure that this is also for one year. So this is what really I should be paying for. And again, it's just for the year, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna process this all the way through and then we're gonna continue on with our guide. All right, so now that we have that set up, we are back in the products pages. And in the products pages, you could see that I have that in my domain. So I'm pretty much ready to go there. That's the first step that you need to do. You need to first buy it, get those layers of security and you should be all set in purchasing the domain. And the domain currently is parked in GoDaddy. It hasn't been connected yet. It just means that it's there. It's purchased and whatever you have full control. If Shopify closes your store, if you get locked out of Shopify, you always have control of your domain. That's why I like doing that externally. Okay. So this is a big, very important step. Smash that like button if you really like those tips, if you like those security tips so I can provide more of that. Let's continue with the, uh, with the next part of this whole video. So we're going to go now back into Shopify. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go where it says online store and then domains right here in the corner domains. I'm going to click on domains and by default, we'll have this super long my Shopify.com thing, right? Uh, again, we don't want to do any of this. We don't want to transfer domains. No, we want to connect an existing domain but pay very close attention to an important detail that I'm sharing with you guys. Make sure that you never left the account access in GoDaddy. Make sure you leave that tab open. I'm gonna say that one more time. Then when you get back to this part right here where you go ahead and click on domains, here in this domain section, make sure that in Chrome, Safari, whatever browser that you're using, make sure that you're here that you have left this tab open, you have not logged out, make sure you're still logged in and you have this open. Okay, let's go ahead and click on connect existing domains. So in connect existing domains, let's go ahead here and zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so right here, connect existing domains, right? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna mess up the spelling, I'm just gonna grab this right here and copy that 
And I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to put that right here. Uh, resolutions, resolutionstore.com. That's what I did. And I'm going to go ahead and press next. Shopify will instantly realize that this is a GoDaddy domain. And again, this is one of the reasons why I like doing business with GoDaddy because Shopify and GoDaddy have like this API bridge of automation as long as you're doing this steadily, following my steps. So yes, I do have GoDaddy still open over here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this automatically. I do not wanna connect it manually. I wanna collect, connect, connect automatically. And a dialog window appears here. And this one is automatically noticing that I am already signed in in GoDaddy and it's processing. Let's give it this little spinning wheel a few seconds for it to think. It's usually much faster than that. I think it has to do with my internet connection. There it is. I was about to pause the video. Okay, so here it goes. It says connecting your domain to the Shopify site from Shopify requires some DNS changes. Connect to the store to change your domain records. I say yes to that. Let's go ahead and connect. And then it says you have successfully done so. Press close and the dialog closes. It takes you back to where we left off, which is right here, trying to connect the store with GoDaddy. And again, I think a lot of it has to do with this thunderstorm that's going on here in Florida. Oh, my Jesus. All right, here we go. Boom. So that's when it did it. Okay, look at that. So now your page looks like this, where the old URL is still pointing as a primary, but third-party domains are set here on the side. You'll notice that there's two of them. There is the triple W, and then there's the regular one. The SSL is pending. If you don't know what SSL means, it's the certificate badge right here that with this little green icon thing to establish that the connection is secure. So I recommend you that you do not make your store live unless the SSL is secured, okay? Because then people can enter their credit card information in your store without having to worry about any security issues, okay? So now what I need to do is that I need to grab this, one of these two domains and make them primary, okay? Because I don't want the website, again, to still show this. I want it to show my store, right? So what I'm going to do now is go right here on this link where it says change primary domain. Now the primary domain, again, by default is IT shirt dev, blah, 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 blah. I want to say one of these two, whichever one makes you feel happy. I'm not old school. I like the nice clean look and I say save. Okay. And once I do that, now this is on standby, but this is the actual store. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll copy this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an incognito window and I'm going to see if this is working. I'm going to type the actual resolution store.com. Okay. Boom. I'm going to do that and see how it's not secure. You saw that that's because of the SSL certificate that I told you about. Right. And it needs time. It needs time. You need to give this at least 48 hours for this to actually pop up. But by the time you watch this video, maybe days or weeks later, and you visit this website here, you might see the security badge by then, all right? So I, I entertain you to go ahead and if you want to, go check it out if you wanted to. You'll see that there's a security badge there. But I'm showing you not to flip out if you don't see it, especially the HTTPS, because right now it's HTTP. Why is it that? It, well, it's because GoDaddy is doing something on the back end where it takes almost even up to 72 hours, I've seen it at worst. At worst, I've seen it for 72 hours. But it takes some time. For some of you people, you might see it faster than you think, okay? So in order for you to know if this is up and running and the SSL is good to go, just come back here or press refresh on this page. And you'll notice that sometimes it'll do it pretty quickly, right? Well, where this pill would disappear, right? Right here, this will disappear and it will just say connected. But then this one will still say pending, right? That out, that also happens. Okay, guys. So that's how you connect it from beginning to end. Let me know your questions. Let me know what you guys think. Which which um, domain provider do you guys prefer or do you guys use?
right? You can see here the provider GoDaddy, right? If you don't know who your provider is, go to where it says domains and you can see the .com that you purchased, who's the provider. Some of y'all might say Shopify. There's nothing wrong with that, but like I said again, if it's Shopify and you're planning on leaving Shopify in the future or you just don't like it being there, it might be a struggle afterwards. I'm telling you, it's a struggle to get it out of Shopify to like, let's say go to GoDaddy so that you could have the free will to do whatever you want. That gets tricky. That gets tricky and transfer domain. Oh boy, it's a mess and it's frustrating especially like if you're trying to publish somewhere else. So that's why I say if you keep it at GoDaddy, you could always easily unplug it from Shopify and put it into the other store instantly or at least no more than 24 to 48 hours versus spending a week or two waiting for the transfer of where the domain lives. That's what takes a long time and that's very frustrating. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Is it helpful? I talked about a few things. I talked about privacy. I talked about purchasing. I talked about a whole bunch of stuff. Let me know if this is valuable information for you so I could continue making more videos. And thank you once again for joining me. Talk to you soon.